हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ माइंड मैप टुडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज चीफ मिनिस्टर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ चीफ मिनिस्टर अपॉइंटमेंट एंड एलिजिबिलिटी टर्म ऑफ ऑफिस पावर्स एंड फंक्शंस एंड लास्टली प्रैक्टिस क्वेश्चंस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल मूविंग ऑन टू द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द टॉपिक The chief minister's position in the state is comparable to that of the prime minister at the center. They also serve as the head of the council of ministers and have the power regarding various functionalities of their state. They are responsible for ensuring that various state departments are working properly and efficiently in addition to ensuring the public well-being of the people. The state's chief minister is chosen from among the leaders of the parties. that received the most votes in the assembly elections now moving on to appointment and eligibility of the chief minister first is appointment article 164 of the constitution and we says that the chief minister shall be appointed by the governor a leader of the party that has got the majority share of votes in the assembly elections is appointed as the chief minister of the state The governor is the nominal executive authority but real executive authority rests with the chief minister however the discretionary powers enjoyed by the governor reduced to some extent the power authority influence prestige and role of the chief minister in the state administration a person who is not a member of the state legislature can be appointed as chief minister for 6 months within which time he should be elected to the state legislature following which he ceases to be the chief minister if no party has a clear majority the governor may use situational discretion he may appoint a leader as chief minister and then demonstrate his majority on the floor of the parliament if the chief minister dies without a successor the governor may pick one at his discretion however if the ruling party nominates someone the governor has no choice but to appoint that person Second is eligibility to become a chief minister of India there are certain eligibility norms which must be fulfilled by the candidate these norms are mentioned below candidate must be 25 years of age or more candidate must be a citizen of India and candidate must be a member of the state legislature there is no maximum age limit or education qualification criteria set for the role of chief minister hence the only eligibility criteria one must fulfill are the ones mentioned above now let's discuss about term of the cm the term of the chief minister is not fixed and he holds office during the pleasure of the governor he cannot be dismissed by the governor as long as he enjoys the majority support in the legislative assembly the state legislative assembly can also remove him by passing a vote of no confidence against him now let's have a look at powers and functions of chief minister with respect to council of ministers the governor appoints only those persons as ministers who are recommended by the chief minister he allocates and reshuffles the portfolios among ministers he can bring about the collapse of the council of ministers by resigning from office since the chief minister is the head of the council of ministers with respect to governor under article 167 of the constitution the chief minister acts as a link between the governor and state council of ministers cm advises the governor regarding the appointment of important officials like advocate general chairman and members of the state public service commission state election commission etc with respect to state legislature All the policies are announced by him on the floor of the house. He recommends dissolution of legislative assembly to the governor. Other functions: He is the chairman of the state planning board. He acts as a vice chairman of the concerned zonal council by rotation, holding office for a period of one year at a time. He is a member of the interstate council and the governing council of Niti Aayog, both headed by the prime minister. He is the chief spokesman of the state government. He is the crisis manager in chief at the political level during emergencies. As a leader of the state, he meets various sections of the people and receives memoranda from them regarding their problems and so on. And he is the political head of the services. Now it's time for the practice questions. First of all, prelims question: 
which of the following is or are correct about the chief minister one he is a member of prime minister's inter state council two he is the chairman of the state planning board which of the above statements is or are correct only one only two both one and two or neither one nor two you can send the answer of this question in the comment section and now mains question the governor is mere agent of the center rather than being the constitutional head of the state discuss the recent controversies involving the post of governor in india so that's all for today stay tuned for the next episode thanks for watching